Hello, so today we are doing this problem called longest repeating character placement. And so the problem says we get a string that has only uppercase English letters and we can do up to k operations on that string. In one operation we can choose any character of the string and change it to any other uppercase English letter and we can do at most k operations. And the goal is to find the length of the longest substring con con containing only uh, containing all repeating letters um, we can get by performing these k operations. So for example ABAB -A -B here we can transform it to um, let's take an, that example here so for this this first example we have basically what we can do is leave A as is and transform B to uh, to A and then leave A as is and transform B to A. So we did two transformations, two replacements, which is the limit that we can do here. And we end up with four, um, four A's. So that's the result there. That's the longest repeating characters we can obtain. We can also obtain it by replacing the A's with B's. Um, now if we take a look at the second example here, We can do only one um, one replace, so we can only do one replacement um, according to this value of k. And so one thing we can do is transform this b to a, and that way we get we get four as uh, we get uh, four consecutive a's, right? That's the longest one we have. Another thing we can do is convert this b, this a here to b, um, and then have b b a. So still the longest one here also is four. And so yeah, you get you get the idea. The goal is, the goal is um, the to return the length of longest substring uh, of repeating letters of repeating letters, right? We can do k k replacement. And so one thing you can notice here is substring is is equivalent to. Um, to finding uh, a longest contiguous, to finding a contiguous subarray. If we consider our string as a, an array, then um, finding a substring is finding the longest contiguous, um, finding a contiguous subarray, right? That's kind of the equivalent of a substring. And so whenever we have something that says to find some property like length or something of the longest contiguous subarray, um, we need to immediately think about even if it is with some condition like up to k replacement or up to let's say k deletions or k additions whatever op other operations that add extra conditions to already the to to the already existing condition of repeating letters even with that we need to think about um, using the sliding window technique um, I have some other videos on my channel about problems solved with this, so take a look also. And um, so, how can we apply that technique here then? So, one thing we can think about is let's say we have um, let's take A A B A B B A. So let's take this string here right and let's see what what do we need in for the window that we have so let me just make space here um, and we have j right so we need to keep track of the max length because that's the the thing that we want to return i'm um, just listing the data that we need to keep track of and then what do we need also we need the max count which basically tells us how many characters we have here how many characters in a window so so this is like so let me just separate this so this is the result that we need another thing we have is the window window data so the data that we need to keep track of while moving the window whenever we have sliding window technique we have something that we need to keep track of while moving right so what do we need here we need the max count which tells us the which tells us the max the occurrence, the number of occurrence of the most, the character that occurred the most 
in the window right so for example if we are looking at this window here we have a that occurred two times b one time so the the max count here is two for for the character a we don't really care about which character we care about the number that's because that's what we will eventually compare to put in the max length right um, and so we do need that in the window. Well, something else we need is um, for a window, we need to know the uh, number of occurrence of each of each character in the window. Right? Let's call that window. So we need number of occurrence of each character in the window, right? Because why do we need this? Because we need to uh, to be able to, while traversing the string, we need to say, okay, this character now has is occurring two times, so that we can update the max count if we need to update it. And we need to also know, like, when moving the window, we need to say, okay, this character in the current window, so let's say J was here. Let's say J was here now. We need to be able, when we move I from here, to here, we need to, able to be able to say now the window contains only one A character. So the max count now is just one, right? So we need to be able to do that operation. And so we need that window um, to, uh, to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, so now we need to think about something for when using the sliding window technique is what is our condition that makes us move J? And what is the condition that makes us move I? So one thing we need to think of is for J, we need to keep moving. Um, so keep moving J while um, like the the number of replacement is less than K. So because that means that we still haven't replaced K letter, so the window is still valid. So we need to keep advancing J. So basically, this we can advanced j while condition of k replacement is still valid the other condition is when do we move i so when the number of replacements is equal to k at that point um, is bigger than or let's say um, is equal to k at that point if we extend the window to something that is not um, that is not the ma the character that the window is is handling. Then then we have a problem, right? So if 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 we did k replacement, then we need to shrink the window. Shrink the window by moving i, so that we can we can have a valid condition again. Um, yeah. So these are the two conditions that we need in our um, sliding window technique. Um, now let's see how can we implement it then. So let's, now we have all the data that we need, so let's implement it. So what we need is to just um, create this data and while moving, in, moving th through this string, just update it and move J when we haven't replaced the K values yet, and just keep updating our max count and our window according to the characters that we uh, that we encountered. And then when we reach K replacements, shrink the window by moving I, um, so that um, we can have a valid window again. And when shrinking the window, we need to both advance I and and also say that this character now occurred one last time, right? So let's implement that. So what we can do is we need to have i and j, and we need the max count that we said that we need here for the window, and then we need the max length, and all of these are zero values. And then we need the window, which is pretty much just, so we, s we have that we have only uppercase letters, so uppercase, only uppercase letters so that means we have 26 letters right so we can just so this window here just represents the occurrences in a window so for um, in range of 26 right 
and then now our window keeps we keep moving the window until we reach the end of the string and we we have um, the the index for a window here can be just something like this so basically what we can do is um, it's only we only have uppercase letters right so if we do a minus a the index is going to be zero uh, sorry, or it's okay. And then if we go B, the index is going to be 1. For C, the index is going to be 2. For D, the index is going to be 3. And for E, it's 4. So you see, for each letter, uh, uppercase letter, it gives us its order. So basically, we can use this to index um, the window here because the window is just 26 elements. And it's the values here in in order. So we just need a consistent indexing. That's basically all we need here. And so that means that our index is going to be just the order of um, s sub g, which is what we what the window moved to, the value that the window just moved to. Um, so we get its index. We said by doing this. And then what do we need? So we just move to this element. So what do we need to do? We need to say that this character now occurs one more time because we just the window just uh, moved to it and so it's now included in the window. So we need to say that our index here just increases by one. And then we need to check if we have k replacements. How do we check if we have k replacements? So we know our window size is this, right? This is our window size. So actually here when the number of placement is bigger than k, because if it's not bigger than k, then uh, we don't need to uh, to um, we don't need to worry about it because um, we can still uh, if it's equal to k, we can still check to find the, the to find the next character. So the size of the window is plus one, and uh, the minus max count bigger than k, right? So that means the window is no longer valid, but what is this minus minus max count? So this basically tells us that let's say the window size is four, and the maximum count. So for example, in this window, the window size is four, right? Which means j minus i plus one is equal to four, right? If we go here, it's zero, one, two, three. So it's it's basically three minus one plus one. That's four, right? Uh, is that 4? 3 minus 0 actually, plus 1. So that's 4, right? Now, the max count here is the max count of, is the count of the character that is occurring the most, right? The number of occurrences of the character that occurred the most in the window. So that here is 3a, right? And so in order to find the characters that are not a, we just take this minus this. Find 1 which is the character b. So Basically, that means that this um, here, minus max count, tells us the, the number of characters in the window that are not the character that occurred the most, right? And what does that tell us? So that means that this is basically the, the replacements that we need to do number of replacements needed right and if if the number of replacements is are bigger than k then our window is no longer valid and so we need to shrink it and if we shrinking it means saying plus one and as we said when we move from a letter we need to say that it occurred we, dec we need to decrease our uh, its number of occurrences so the way we do that is we say window same thing we are going to t get its index so the index of the character i is order of si minus order of i and then we just need to decrease that right and now our max the max length in this window is we need to update that so that's max length and the size of the window that we just said which is this here and at the end we can just return max length right um, so basically we are initializing here and then we update our window with the value we just moved to and then we check 
um, if if the window is no longer valid then we we move we, we move the window uh, left so here actually we can do well um, while the window is no longer valid we can keep shrinking the window and then return the length okay so we have we didn't we didn't um, increment j here which is uh, to do that okay so we have a problem here because um, Yep, one thing I forgot to update is this max count, right? So when we are here, we need to update max count because we have a new character, right? So when we move here to this A, now the max count changes becomes a 3. So we need to update this max count here. So now the max count becomes the max of max count and what? And the, the window index, because that's the only thing that changed so that's the only thing that may potentially change the max count. So it, for this case, it will change A, which is the current max count. But in some cases, we might have, let's say we had this, and the max count was the one for A. When we have another B, the max count should now be 3, right? And so that's why we are doing here. For this index that, that just changed, maybe that is the new max count. So we need to update it. Um, And that's that works for that case. Let's try with this one. Okay, so that should pass. Okay, so that solution passes. Um, Uh, yeah, so that's all for now. Um, see you next time. Bye.